Hey guys, in this video, I'll be showing you how to publish multiple products on one single listing to your Etsy shop. So let's jump right in. So I'm inside of a collection that I set up earlier ahead of time so that I didn't have to do it on video to save us some time. Um, and I've also generated my data, my title tags and description, um, just pretty generic stuff. Um, and then what I want to show ahead of time is I have a white print file and a black print file. These are just file slots that I named those two things. This is my white text and my black text and I have it for both of these listings. So once we have all of this set up, what we want to do is go to publish in the top right corner here. We're going to be doing products. We'll select our store, our category here. And then we'll just map out our um, data and everything looks good. So we'll go to the next step. Um, for this example, I'm going to be using the um, Bella 3001 t-shirt, which is a unisex t-shirt and a very popular one online. From this page right here, what we want to do is make sure that we select um, dark colors for this white design. So I'm going to do black, um, navy, and probably red for this example. And then I'm going to change the mock-up to this girl. I like it better than just the generic one. So you can see here we've got the white text on these dark shirts. And now what we want to do is add another product here in the top right corner. So we're going to search Bella 3001 and then select that again. And then this is what's very important here. As you'll see on this one, this says select print ready files um, from your slot. And this is why I named it white print file. So that on this one, I would know to go to black print file. And then on this listing, we have to make sure we're on the correct one. It's the second one I added. I'm going to select light colors. So I want white, maybe pink and heather peach. And then I'll generate mockups based off of these ones as well. And then as you can see, we've got the white, pink and heather peach with the dark colors and then red navy and black with the light um, text next what i want to do is just generate one size chart um, and i'll select this one here i like the look of that one better um, and i might actually want to do this on the other listing that has the light text on it and i can just switch back over here click generate and then there you have it we have a size chart so just like that, this listing is ready to go with the white print file and a black print file. Now, this is just one example of things you could do. You could do so many other multiple products on this listing if we wanted to. Uh, we could also add mugs or tank tops or uh, sweaters or anything we really wanted. But I'm just showing you how you can do two separate files or colored files on the same T-shirt. So once we get to this point, we're going to want to click validate and go next. This is where we can change the pricing for our products and we can also update the size prefix and suffix as well as the color prefix and suffix. I'm going to update the size prefix because I don't want it to say Bella 3001 number one on every one of my products. I would prefer that it just say t-shirt. So what I want to do is type t-shirt here then a space and then a dash and then we want to make sure we do a space after the dash as well and I'll click apply so you can see why. So now all my products just say t-shirt and then has the size right after it. Um, there are certain instances where we might want to put uh, light design or dark design in our color prefix or our suffix because um, we have a light design and a dark design. I'm not going to do that. I would only want to do that, for example, if I had, I wanted my white design and my black design on a blue t-shirt or something like that because it might look good on both. Um, but what I do want to do is jump over to my black design and I need to make sure that I update the size prefix here as well so that now it's on all of them. And as you can see, just like that, it's done. So next, all I really need to do is update my pricing and I'm just going to do the same pricing across the board. If I was actually going to sell these, I would adjust accordingly because as you can see, the profit is a lot, a little less on a, a larger t-shirt. So at this point, we're ready to publish. So all we would do is just click next step 
And then you can see here, this is actually something we've updated recently. We now show your print file um, on this page so that you can see what the customer is getting. Um, some people would, you know, wouldn't have their um, file slots named white design and dark design like I did. So um, they might not know. That's why we added this here. So now you can see your print file. And if you click over here, now you can see that we have this one as the print file. Um, it's showing the primary mockup as the white design because I had selected that um, a couple pages ago. So now that we have everything um, settled how we want it to, we'll just go ahead and click publish. And then I will show you the listing um, on Etsy. Now we're on our Etsy shop here. And I did want to point out, um, this is where we changed our size prefix. So now you just see it just says t-shirt extra small all the way up to 3XL. And then they can select just their one color. And the reason, like I said, we didn't need to change our color suffix or prefix is because we have our mockups over here. So they know when they look at a red mockup mock and they're selecting it, it's going to look like that with the white design on it. And um, the same with if they were to select a white, they would be able to see that it has the black design on it. So that's it for this video, guys. That's how you publish multiple products on Etsy. I'll be making more to show more examples of what you can do with this in the future. Uh, if you did like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.